Long Zimin, Chinese. Uj Unified Ideograph, Uj Unified Ideograph, Uj Unified Ideograph, Pinyin, Long Zimin. Died September 27, 1985. Was a Chinese serial killer. Together with his wife Yan Shuxia, he murdered 48 people in Shaanxi between 1983 and 1985. This criminal case shocked Jiang Minhai I and the Chinese State Council, and is referred to as the Long Zimin couple's homicides. Uj Unified Ideograph, 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 Uj Unified Ideograph. Murders Long Zimin was a farmer originally from Shang County, now Shangzhuo District, Shangluo. In the spring of 1974, due to the construction of the Nangchen Reservoir, he moved to Wangjian Village. Uj Unified Ideograph, Uj Unified Ideograph, Uj Unified Ideograph, Yanjiao Township, now Yanyuhi Town. Four years later, he married Yan Shuaxia, a disabled woman with meningitis. Between March 1983 and May 1985, Long, with the help of his wife, deceived 48 people, 31 men and 17 women into his home with promises of introducing them to upper-class people, high-paying employers of simply offering free accommodation. When the victims entered the house, they were killed and subsequently buried on the property. On May 28, 1985, the police arrested Long Zimin and searched his house upon requests from the family members of the missing people. A total of three mass graves were found, with 48 bodies in them, two others were found next to the wheat straw pile, and another one in a bag with fertilizer and tools. Trial and execution On August 30, 1985, the Shanglao branch of the Shaanxi Procurator charged Long Zimin and his wife with murder. On September 20, the Shanglao Intermediate Court sentenced both defendants to death. They filed an appeal, but the Higher People's Court rejected it and upheld the death penalty. Only seven days after the sentencing, Long and Yan were executed. Motives According to medical experts, the initial motives for Long's murders was to obtain property, free labor and meet sexual requirements. As the killings progressed, it evolved into an addiction, from which he likely experienced great pleasure. Reveal at the end of 2011, the Shaanxi Provincial Public Security Chronicles declassified the crimes, and even published photos of Long Zimin. References